everyone, it's Mother Geek here. I'm getting well out of my comfort zone today and I'm going to attempt to show you how to make a Jojo bow with the Jojo Bow Maker Kit. So we were sent this to review and as you can see I've already made two bows. I'm going to be honest, it wasn't easy. The instructions weren't great. So now that I've finally figured it out, I thought I'd do a quick video so you two can see how to do it. So these are some of the things that were included with the set. These are two bows I've already made up, which have the clips on the back. And the two different sizes of bows, you get the thick ribbon and the thinner ribbon. So this one here is thick and this one here is thinner, just so you can see the difference in size. Not much in it really. You also get the clips, the Jojo bow um, tags that you see on all of her bows and finishing strips, glue and you'll need some thread which is included as well. So this is the bow maker itself so what I'm going to do is show you how to make the small bow I think first. So first of all I'm just going to move so I can turn it round so I'm looking at it the right way. So I'm just going to move some of these things over here as well out of the way for now. So the first thing you need to do is get your thread. Now this does come included. You have to cut it into four, one for each bow, and lay it through the middle of the bow maker like that. Next up you get your ribbon. Just out of the way. And to start you go through here like that and then around this bottom spike and then across the front. Now at this point I find it best to use one of the included clips just to hold everything in place. And after this we're going to go around the back here and just pull everything tight and then you're going around this back spike here. Now at this point, you need to go back where you've just been, again pull it tight, and you need to go underneath this back piece of fabric. So I find it best just to lift everything up a little bit, feed your ribbon through the back like this, and pull it. So you've just pulled everything tight again. And then go around the back, just smooth it all out so it's nice and neat. So around the back again, over the top, and that is everything finished. Now again, if you want to, I found it a bit easier at this point just to clip those together. Just meant it was one last thing for me to hold. So that's it all done now. So you've got your thread that you put through at the beginning. You just need to pull that through, tie it as tight as you can. So if you watch now, this will pull it all into the bow shape. So just pull it all really tight. Now, once you've got that knot in place, you can take your clips off. Pull it extra tight again and I find it best just to tie a double knot at this point. And then you can lift your bow off the stand and this is what you've got at this point. So if you go around the back just pull it all super tight again and that's your bow. So at that point have a look at it and see which way round you want it to go. So for me this time I'm thinking we'll have it like that with the tail down here. So next up you just want to trim this. Now there's no scissors included so I'm just going to trim this myself. I'm also going to trim off the cotton. So 
back. You just trim that close so there's nothing poking out. And we'll trim this bit now. Do you need good scissors for this? Kitchen scissors I'm using here probably aren't great. So if you do have fabric scissors, by far a better option. And that's my ribbon trimmed now. So at this point, you get your finishing thread. This goes around the back. Now the instructions say to tie it in a knot here and then to glue your clip on but I find the best thing to do is glue the ribbon and then just slide your clip through like that. So I'll just show you what I've been doing. Is literally folding it around the back like this. glue on, glue is included. Because this set is suitable for children age five and over, I'm assuming you don't need to worry about it being toxic or anything like that. So I need to just make sure that my ribbon finishes on the back basically so it's super duper neat. Just spin it like that and on the back pop another blob of glue. And then I've got to leave the glue for 30 minutes to dry. I have been pushing it down really well like that. And then popping my crocodile clip on to secure it. <clears throat> now after the 30 minutes you will kind of have to prise this bit off because there's a bit of glue there but it will hold it firm and make sure it's glued well. That then is my finished bow. All that's left to do is for me to sew on my charm, which I'm not going to do now. You can see the bow there and get the idea. So once it's all dry, you can shape it how you want, make sure it sticks up where you want. But yeah, that is the bow all made up now. Quite happy with that. So yeah, hope this video has been useful. It is quite fiddly, this set. Suitable for children aged five and over, but I'll be honest, my five-year-old really struggled with it. It's definitely not something a five-year-old can do on their own. I would say children probably up to about eight are gonna need parental help to do this. So I've done three of the four bows now, just the big pink one left to do. So I'll just show you now with the last one. Thread it through there around the front, clip it, and there, through the front one, from the back of there, back on itself. Tuck it under. and over. Now, I forgot to put the string in this time but that's okay. You can just sneak it through at this point if it needs to be. Take it off, you can just easily tighten it up. Knot it 
there just so it's nice and tight. Can take the clip off here. There we go, that's our bow made. And then as before, we just need to trim this off and put the middle bit around. That's my scissors. Just like before, thread the ribbon around the back and we'll glue it into place. Well told, I think this set is a bit too tricky for five year olds to do on their own. But if your child's a bit older, then they'll be fine with it. Or if you don't mind getting stuck in yourself, I'm sure your younger kids will happily make bows with mum or dad. So yeah, that's our last bow done. As before, I'm just going to slide the clip underneath to hold that in place. And all I have to do later is so much harm on. So there you have it. That's all four of the bows made. So that's everything that comes included with the set made up now. Just the charms to go on. Hope this video has been useful. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments down below. But for now, thanks for watching.